uh, good evening all so today we will discuss about the tutorials of uh, ns3 so uh, last uh, video i was installed the uh, network simulator 3 so today we will uh, discuss about the uh, tutorials uh, for ns3 so what all the uh, programming techniques how we can implement this techniques in the python using python visualizer and we will uh, execute the output okay so I will maximize the my window. So my uh, folder ns3 folder which is in download folder. So first check whether we are in the present working directory. So I am changing my working directory is my home directory, home ROM. So so now check your directory, home ROM. So I am in download folders. I am. I am having the NS3 simulator. NS all in one. 3.26 folder. NS3.6 folder. Okay. So is there. So I will switch over to the folder. Change the directory to NS all in one 3.26. And a little bit I can. So here. Uh, here uh, you can go to the you can type ls so you have net animation tool we have uh, seen the this tool in your previous installation video so now uh, we will go to this folder cdns 2.3.26 so cdns 3.26 so you have uh, the scratch file here so in, in scratch file only we have execute uh, you must execute, execute the output okay the scratch folder so where are the examples of ns3 so the examples for ns3 is available in the ns3.26 change the directory to examples examples and folder change the to tutorial so we'll go to the this folder example cd space example space tutorial so that is uh, to in examples under the tutorial folder we have type ls so we have this list of programs is there so all the programs must be uh, written in c plus plus so we'll be say uh, one by one okay so first i'll go to this uh, first dot cc program so the, uh, the detailed description is there so we'll go to this I want to view this program using my command gedit is the tool for viewing our uh, notepad like like notepad editor in windows so uh, also will uh, view this uh, program in va editor va editor in ubuntu in linux we have visualized editor okay so we'll go to this gedit dot first dot cc So this is the first program for ns3 so all the ns3 folder all the ns3 program should be written as the module ns3 module so this is the first module we have ns3 uh, core module and these are the header files for ns3 ns core module and ns mod network module and the internet module point to point module and applications module okay so this is the namespace for uh, ns3 we are defined default uh, namespace uh, using namespace ns3 and this is a component uh, uh, we are defining the first example so my first script example and uh, we are giving the main function for the function which is set up for udp echo client application and how the udp server uh, client server can be communicated to the server uh, using your port number and ip address so here uh, we are using the data rate of 5 mbps and delay of 2 milliseconds and we are defining the nodes using point to point protocol and your ip address can be defined in terms of port number 10 uh, sorry ip address 10.1.1.0 uh, with the subnet mask 225.2.2.0 
so it initiate the transaction and it can uh, using the uh, it can take it as the integers of uh, uh, maximum number of packets we have transfer and the time interval and the packet size and e uh, so it defining the and uh, each and every nodes we can deploy it. so the command which is uh, used for simulating this uh, ms3 we are using simulator run and simulator destroy for uh, terminating the process okay so just will uh, uh, run this program so how the udp can communicate to the uh, its server using this uh, ip address okay so so this is a program it's a simple program which is defined in the point to point uh, protocol module okay so i can save this so how will execute this program so i am in the example tutorial folder what you can do is you just copy this folder uh, first that cc in your scratch folder okay which is located in uh, ms all one 3.26 uh, in this folder of ms 3.26 so i can copy this is the command for copying your uh, um, file so cp hyphen or is the whole copy of the file copy file the sub tutorial folder i have the first dot cc file first dot cc so where i can copy this i can copy this file in the home folder uh, uh, downloads ns all in one 3.26 under the sub module of N ns 3.26 scratch folder under the ns 3.26 we have scratch folder we can copy this so i'll go to this home ram so downloads ns all one 3.26 under the ns 3.26 so the folder is scratch scratch folder i can copy this so i can copy this first that cc in terms of my name is uh, um, you can take it as my first uh, the default uh, variable we can set my first program my first program dot cc so i can copy this first dot cc to uh, scratch folder in the ms 3.26 the uh, the file name is my first program dot cc so i copy this first dot cc to my my first program dot cc enter okay now we can uh, execute this program uh, in the uh, ns 3.26 folder so the same what we are done in the installation step and we can in, we can execute this the program by dot the variable of waf double hyphen so i am going to run my c++ program so using the command run double hyphen run where we are running so my program is in the scratch folder in the ns 2.26 so down ns all in 2.66 ns 3.26 under the folder of scratch my program name is what my first program dot cc so what we can do is when while we are executing this uh, of program you must you must uh, delete this our uh, program uh, file format dot cc we can eliminate this okay we just uh, simply run this so wh what we are doing we are executing this first dot cc program in the name of my first program dot cc and you can so while executing this we will eliminate the the file path that is not the save file saved path dot cc just press enter So it will it will compile for the through So my program to be uh, build here. So build build my program. So my program is build here. So here is there. So build build scratch 
my first program so my output is at the time 2 milliseconds my client sent the request of 1024 bytes with the uh, IP address to the uh, what uh, for server uh, which is the uh, IP of 10.1.1.2 with the port number of 9 at the 2.003 section the server received the 1024 bytes from the IP address 10.1.1.1 with the port number of uh, 49153 at 2.3 the server sent the acknowledgement of 1024 bytes to the client server with the port number of 49193 and finally uh, the client received the this 1024 bytes from the port number 10.1.1.2 so here your IP address for the client is 10.1.1.1 and the server IP address is 10.1.1.2 with the port number uh, of 9 for the client and 49153 uh, for the server this is a small example for the, uh, the fi my first program suppose I want to execute for the second program and third four five six because we have uh, like some seven examples in the uh, in the nf3.26 tutorial folder uh, so we can see this folder so we have first program and second program second dot cc and third dot cc etc etc suppose i want to run my third dot cc i'll explain the third program is here because we want to implement a python tool visualized python tool here so what i can do is just to i can do the, the same process i can copy this cp hyphen third dot cc to the my folder home or what you can do is just you can uh, press the upper arrow up, upper arrow so all the uh, typing uh, sentence will be terminal sentence will come again so you are pressing up arrow so here you can copy this uh, so what you can do is just you can give the name of the dot cc you can copy this copy dot cc to the home rom downloads ns r1 3.22 ns 3.26 scratch and my file name is you, your first program name is uh, 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 first program so here you can write the third program third T H I R T third program uh, dot cc so what we can do is we can copy this folder yeah we are successfully copied then we can execute this program and uh, so using the command that backslash wf run so we are in the scratch folder so my my third program dot cc so what you can do is you can eliminate the path and you can execute the center and your third program will be compiled So it need 2374 folder searching, compiling search, searching thing and it will be built. Okay. So here uh, my program is built here. The same thing is we have uh, done at the, uh, my third program is here. So here my port number is changed here. So the port number is 10.1.2.4. The client send the request and the server can replay this. Uh, so so at the client side, we are sending 10.1.2.4 with the port number of 9. The server receives the port number 10.1.3.3 with the port number. Yeah, sorry, uh, IP with the port number. The server uh, replaced the port number 10.1.3.3 to the client and client received the uh, a number here so I want to show this output using my Python visualizer so what we can do is simply we can uh, go to this the same uh, dot backslash uh, 